I think one of the easiest ways to learn a new software like Premiere Pro or pick up some new tricks is to shadow somebody else using that software. In this video, I'm gonna document the first 15 shortcuts or tips and tricks that stick out to me while I'm in the middle of doing a project that hopefully can help you in your workflow. Starting with these two files. This is new talking head footage I wanna put down on my timeline, chop it up so I can add it to my video. But before I do anything major to the edit, I like to duplicate my sequences so I have different iterations to go back to if I need them. Now I'm ready to move these two files down to my timeline. If I click and drag them down like this, you'll see that for the space that I want to insert them into, they're going to overwrite some of the video files. So one thing I can do is hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows to bring up this line of arrows right here, and that indicates that when I release the mouse, it will insert the clips into that spot and shuffle the rest of the footage down the timeline. Now, if keyboard shortcuts are more your thing, let me undo that, highlight my two clips in the project bin, and with the playhead where I want to insert these clips, all I have to do is hit the comma key and it will insert the clips like I did before without any clicking or dragging. Next, I'm gonna sync those clips, but first I wanna see what I'm doing. So if you put the mouse over here in this negative space, hold shift and double click, it will evenly expand each track. Another method is to hold shift and use your scroll wheel to make them taller or smaller. Now, in order to sync these two clips together, I need to move this green clip down a track. And instead of clicking and dragging it down, what I wanna show you is that with the playhead above that clip, I can hit D to select the clip that's underneath the playhead and then hold option and click the down arrow to nudge the clip down a track. Now highlight both clips, right click, and go to synchronize. Synchronize by audio and hit okay. It'll always synchronize the clips to the one that is furthest down the timeline. I did clap on camera at the beginning of this take, so I'm gonna zoom into that area and make sure that my good audio and the visual line up. And it does need a little adjustment. So if you wanna move your clips by one frame, just hold command on Mac or control on Windows while using your arrow keys to nudge them left or right. And with the good audio lined up from that green clip, I wanna get rid of my scratch audio that came with the camera. If I try and click on just the audio of this clip, it will highlight both the visual and the audio because both of these are linked together. To highlight just the audio, hold Option or Alt and click. Now I can delete the scratch. Let's move the good audio up to that same track. Instead of clicking and dragging the audio up because this could accidentally get your audio out of sync, what I like to do is again, hold option and click up on the arrow key to move the clip up one track. This way you avoid any chance of you accidentally moving the clip out of sync. Now I wanna chop off the tail ends of both of these clips. So I'll hit the up arrow key to take my playhead to the previous edit, which just so happens to be the beginning of my video clip. I wanna split the audio clip at the playhead. I'll do this with a keyboard shortcut called add edit, which is command K or control K. I'll delete the beginning part, hit the down key to take my playhead to the next edit, which is at the end of the clip and repeat the same process. Command K, highlight, delete. Now I'm ready to link the two clips together. Highlight them both and hit command L. And this V in the parentheses indicates to me that the clips are now linked. This is the same as if I were to highlight them both, right click and go up to link. I just think it's faster to use hotkeys. Now that they're linked, I can click on the clip and they'll move together. With that done, I wanna move all of this back into the general area where I want it to be on the timeline. I'll go up and select my track select forward tool, click and everything on the timeline to the right of my cursor will then be selected and I can move it all over. When I'm editing down a talking head piece like this, the keyboard shortcuts that I use are ripple trim to previous edit and ripple trim to next edit. For example, let's say I wanna get rid of everything from the playhead to the beginning of the clip. I would just hit Q and that will ripple trim everything to the previous edit. Doing this in the middle of the clip, I would create a cut by using add edit, which is command K, and then move the playhead forward to wherever I want to ripple trim to and hit Q again. On the flip side, if I move my playhead all the way to the end of the clip and hit W, that will ripple trim everything from the playhead to the end of the clip. Also worth noting is the J, K, and L keys, mainly the L key. If you wanna listen back to things in double time or even faster, hit the L key once, 1x, hit it again, 2x, 3x, 4x, so on and so forth. And we've already hit 15 tips. To be honest, it wasn't my intention to just show you syncing some audio clips while I'm working. It just so happens that when I was using my keyboard and doing the different hotkeys, I used 15 different methods that I thought would help you as an editor get faster at editing or at least moving footage around in Premiere Pro. If this video was helpful in doing so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. My name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.